we take water for granted. In the privileged society here, people can't even imagine not getting water from their tap. I think people tend to think if you're working in water, you're working in a third world country, and they don't realize that the problems exist right here in our backyard in the United States. Quito's is a water analytics company that can essentially provide real-time water efficiency and water quality metrics so that end users and operators can make insight-driven decisions about water. So this is our Quito Shield solution. It can be in an indoor for just sampling water coming out of either city water, it could be water coming from a river, or sitting in a river shed, just pumping water. So the water actually goes through this device? If you see on the other side here, there, so there's an inlet and there's an outlet. So water is just continuously coming through and a continuous sampling mechanism going on. Water was very top of mind for me growing up. We would get water in a tanker once a day, and my mom would boil the water three times for cooking and four times for drinking. The water industry is one of the oldest and legacy industries that is the slowest in terms of innovation. The adoption of new technologies in the water sector has been extremely slow. But the ultimate holy grail for anybody coming in the water industry is really understanding the heavy metals in a continuous basis and completely unmanned. So how can you build a solution that is going to give you real-time water quality metrics? built devices, one for water efficiency, one for water safety. Both are real-time devices, collecting dev data real-time, transmitting it, and then all the analysis happens in the back end. If I'm a farmer, I'm looking at the app, I'm seeing, oh, how much boron is in my water? I'm helping him or her do nutrient management of what to add to their crops so that they get the optimum yield or if a city water, I can see if there's an anomaly in the water that's coming from the river, so I know how much chemical treatment to add. If I look at water efficiency, how is it that 14% of our treated water is lost in leaks? I can explain to someone through their mobile phone, hey, there's probably a leak detected here, and now you can go shut it off. The end user, they're just looking at the data on their phone, and they're taking their decisions based on what they need to do. We would have been able to prevent something like a friend Michigan. With the amount of data and what we have built, we could, you know, someday even prevent a disease outbreak. And there's only so much fresh water in the world. Water efficiency and water quality are like the yin and yang. If you address both water efficiency and with the quality of water, we truly can have substantial water for our generations to come.